there guys i am vikrant and you are watching glitter made easy today i am going to show you how to make a padded bed sheet something like this so let's get started first open a new tab that's going to be general just scale down the cube on z axis a bit and then press n and you can see something known as the uh something i will just enable screen cast key so that it's easier for you to understand you can see all the buttons which i am pressing here so now i will just go to edit mode and just subdivide it or add in some loop cuts like uh, 20 times here and uh, 20 times here so if you are not aware of how many loop cuts are there you can just see uh, how many numbers of loop cuts you are adding right here so we need to add the most important loop cut now just press ctrl r and add in a loop cut right here this is the most important loop cut so now go to edge selection mode and just select control and just select until here press control if you select the last one i see now you can see that you have selected the whole row then press e to extrude on y axis so something like this may work and then press select this and then shift select this and then press then then press control and then extrude it it's extruding randomly so we need to press x now it will extrude as we want it to be so make sure they are almost the, of the same size now go to the face selection mode and select these faces here and then press shift and select these faces here and then press x you will see only faces option just delete the only faces now you can see that you have selected some vertices now go to edge selection mode select these vertices press x and delete the edges so do the same to this side and delete edges so now we should go to object mode and add some modifier that is going to be the subdivision surface the array modifier so i'll add in the array modifier and keep the number to be something like seven and add in another modifier that's going to be the array modifier again so i will go down here you can see that there's another array modifier i'll just keep it zero and here i will keep it one so now i will just increase the count to something like eight or maybe one nine so this may work now it looks more like a mattress and make sure to do the most important settings that's the merge enable merge in both of them and then go to the top one and then press apply and apply now you can see that we have something like a rock bed sheet so now go to edit mode and go to edge selection mode and go to the top view and just select these vertices here uh, so i'll select these vertices here now and then press X and delete the edges. So I'll also select these vertices here now. Press X and delete the edges. So now if I go to object mode, you can see that the origin is on this cube here. So we need to change the origin. And keep set origin to geometry to origin. Now it's on center. I'll just grab that on Z axis a bit and add in a, maybe a plane. I'll just scale that up a bit. Something maybe like this. Make sure the uh, padded bed sheet is larger than the mattress. Just scale that um, something like this. So uh, for the reference, I've just uh, chosen this as the mattress. You can choose anything you want. So I'll just add in a modifier for this. That's going to be the collision. And for this, I'll add in the cloth. So I will go to the physics properties here. And down below, you can see something known as pressure. Enable the pressure and keep the pressure to be something like 1.25 may work i think so now go to shape and just enable sieving sieving may not work if you have not enabled the merge in the array modifier so now if i just press play now and just wait for the blender to calculate the setting you can see that it's stitching itself and sinking itself as we did the stitches so and we should make sure that we added the collision for this and we should just let the blender calculate the settings so now you can see that it's puffing like a padded bed sheet so i will just wait for the blender to calculate it and just come back after the blender finishes calculating it i'll just calculate it until like frame 50 because we need to apply this not like an animation so now i'll just come back after blender calculates it 
So I have calculated it until the frame number is 80 now. It looks something like this and something like which we needed it to be. If I just go to frame number 1 now with the rock frame and just play it, it shrinks and just falls on it. So this was what we wanted it to happen. You can enable self collision to make it look much more good. So I'll just pause this something like here and now I will go to the modifiers tab and apply the cloth modifier and uh, you can remove the plane if you want and if you are made in the mattress it's okay I just remove the collision for your mattress so that it uh, works more smoothly now you can just add in the modifier the subdivision surface modifier and I think keeping the subdivision to 1 may work good so it looks good now I'll just apply the subdivision surface modifier and shade this smooth so if I shade this smooth if you want you can go to the uh, sculpting mode and just add in some wrinkles in which is present in the which is present in blender 2.83 can just add in some wrinkles by going to down here with using the cloth brush and just adding in some wrinkles so just for the sake of this tutorial I will just I will just not add those wrinkles. Now you can see that we have made our padded bed sheet. I'll just delete the plane just for instance. Just delete the plane. You can see that there are also stitches for this as a normal padded bed sheet has. So this that's it for today. I'll in my other videos I will show you how to make some pillows and make a cool looking bed. So that's it for today.